morning, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Sorry I jumped in there at the last minute. I was getting a cup of coffee. Glad to see you guys all here. Uh, we've got a special day today. Um, we're having auditions for the Winslow Boy. Auditions for the Winslow Boy. Um, and before we get started, let me make sure I got everybody unmuted and ready to go. Hi, Autumn. Hi, Jeremy. Wyatt. Gotcha, Jeremy. Hi. Gotcha, Autumn. Hi, Sigourney. Hi, Caleb. Hello. Gotcha, Caleb. Hi. Gotcha, Wyatt. All right. Excellent. Okay. Winslow Boy Auditions. This is our big project for today. Um, we are putting on a performance, and uh, we need to fill some more parts. Uh, and there are three parts in particular that we need to fill. Arthur, Catherine, and Grace. So, so Gordy, an audition is when um, people come together to try out for a part in a play, or to try out for for a part in some kind of performance. So there are many people come to try out, but there's only one part. And the directors of the play or the movie pick who they want to be the main actor. And the audition is the, the trying out. Does it make sense? All right, so we have we have some people who are coming in uh, who will be wanting to try out for the parts of Arthur, Catherine, and Grace. And we're going to have to determine who will be the best actor for the part. So we're going to have some options. There are going to be people coming in, and they, you know, actors, they, they are looking for jobs all the time. And so we, we're... We've got a big responsibility because for a performance, we want to have the best Arthur possible. We want to have the best Catherine possible. And we want to have the best Grace possible. Now, why, yeah, we're going to have to, uh, I'll, we'll, we'll be introduced to, uh, to those who are auditioning. So Sigourney, now we're not going to be acting. We're directing this play. We're directing this play. We're picking out who's going to be the actor. We're picking out who's going to be the actor. Okay. Now, if you read further right here under the Winslow Boy Audition Project right down here, we're going to have two candidates for each actor to select from. And we'll just have to decide who would best fit the part. So we're, this is what we're doing in class right now, and why you're suspecting of what's going on. So here's how this is going to work. We've got to decide, first of all, what are the qualities that we want in these characters. So we're going to have different people coming in, try out for the part. And they're going to have, you know, we're, and we've got to figure out how we're going to select who's going to be the best Arthur, who's going to be the best Captain, and who's going to be the best Grace. So the first thing that we need to decide on before we have the candidates come in is how are we going to pick? Autumn, you're already thinking Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I can see her being – I can see that. Yeah. I wonder if she'll join us, though. She might She might be a little bit expensive. She might demand a really high salary. I mean, after she's done the whole, uh, the, the whole Mockingbird series – it might be pretty expensive to get her. Uh, but but I'm glad that you're already thinking that, uh, you know, there might be some car some actors out there who would work well. So, we, unfortunately, we, we won't be able to go for stars uh, because we, our budget is very, very small. Uh, but we, we will have some candidates come in um, to, to try out 
to try out for the parts. Now they're not going to do much acting. In fact, they're not going to do much of anything. We're going to get, we're going to be able to see them, but they're not, they're not going to do anything. But we're still going to get a good idea of what they're like. But we need to decide first of all what kind of what kind of actors we want for Arthur, Catherine, and Grace. What kind of personality should they have? So together, first off. I want to get a sense of each of these. So Arthur, let's start off with Arthur. And I want you in the chat to tell me, okay, uh, here's a game I like to play. Give me three words, three words that would describe Arthur that you think are important personality or character traits for the actor that we're going to pick out. Three words. And I want everybody to give me three words. But don't push enter yet. I want to. I want you to think about it and have all three words together. Don't push enter yet. Three words. I think that would be a good way to go to decide how we want, what our standard is going to be for picking out the actor. So take a moment. Think about three words that would describe. Arthur's personality or what you would want to see in, in an actor that acts out Arthur or what his character is like. And take it for granted. I mean, I'm not having I'm not having a a young man coming in to audition for the part of Arthur. We're we're having we're having age appropriate actors for each, uh, and gender appropriate actors for each. So those qualities those qualities are a given. But we want you know uh, that je ne sais quoi, that, that, um, that personality, what kind of personality are they going to have? What kind of uh, character traits are they going to have? And raise your hand when you have three. Okay, I see two hands up. All right, go ahead and push enter with what you have. Go ahead and push enter with what you have. We'll see. Okay. So, why you got strict? Uh, I'm not quite sure. H A R S E. Um, why you want to you want to unmute yourself and tell me what your what the spelling is or what you're trying to think? What word you're thinking of there? Harsh. Okay. Harsh. All right. So H-A-R-S-H. -H, harsh. I can see that. Strict. Harsh. And follows through. All right. Jeremy, you've got just, strong, and old. So you really want to accentuate how old he is. All right. And you want some strength. Caleb, you've got devoted, calm, and tempered. So interesting, Caleb. You're, you don't want somebody with wild emotions. Okay. Autumn got caring, dedicated, and strict. And Sigourney, you've got stern, determined, and harsh as well. Yeah, Jeremy, go ahead with your hand. What are you thinking? Also, actually, says near the end of the book that he's near the, his, the end of his life. So, yeah, that's why I'm stressing he should be old. Okay, so stressing that he should be old. Do you guys agree with that? Should we look for... If we have two candidates and one's a little bit older than the other, should we go for the one that's a little bit older? All right. So we'll say that. I'm jotting down these, these qualities on the older side. So older. Um, then I see two. I see, I see we have maybe strict and also... Uh, let's see. Also kind? No, caring. Strict and caring. I guess those don't have to be opposites. But we're definitely not going to have somebody who's, who's very nice and kind, right? We want somebody more on the strict side. So, you guys agree with that, right? So, more strict. Okay. And I, harsh is kind of like strict. Okay, so strict. Um, and we'll say, you know, not really nice. Maybe that's a helpful way to look at it. All right, and I'm looking at the other words that you put down. Stern. Oh, stern, strict. Those are kind of similar. Um, 
and Caleb, you have calm and tempered. Interesting. Caleb, why do you think calm and tempered? Like with, remember at the beginning of the book when Ron, when he was going to get, when they thought he was going to get angry with Ronnie? He didn't. That shows that he's rather calm and he, he, he keeps his temper in check. You would kind of know that it's kind of easy to notice through the whole book. Okay, interesting. Temper. All right, that might throw a dilemma into the two candidates because I've already met the two candidates. So I, I have those two in mind as we're doing this. Okay, so he's capable of of keeping his temper in check. Okay. Uh, so he can be – I don't think maybe uh, – so I want to make sure it's not laid back that you're thinking of, Caleb, right? It's not somebody uh, – well, what a pleasant afternoon this was. It's not laid back. It's somebody who can who, – who doesn't have a temper. All right. Okay, so – We'll say that. Have self-control. How about that? Self-control? Does that sound good? And control of his emotions. Okay, those are pretty good. I think the focus is going to be more he's on the strict side. All right. Let's do let's do grace because I think grace is a is a nice contrast. What about grace? Three words for grace that you would want to see in in her personality uh, and the actor that's going to play her part. Don't push enter yet, but think of three words. I'm going to throw in one more here with Arthur. How about determined? I, I saw that, and I think that's a good one. Somebody's determined. That's a good one. All right, once you have three words for grace, raise your hand. All right, go ahead and push enter, and let's see what we have. Okay. Okay, would be that calm, nice, and determined. Okay. So I think I like nice. And calm, you use calm for both Grace and Arthur. I'm wondering, Caleb, are you thinking calm in the same way or something different? Yeah, if you could, can, what do you, can you explain what you mean by how grace is calm? Yep. How, first, I'll start with how Arthur's calm, so you can see how yeah. they're different. Arthur's calm is that his temper, he doesn't let her temper go. I mean, his temper go. Blah, blah, blah. Grace sometimes does. Sometimes. She did once. Yeah. She yeah, she got. A, I mean, she she'd been holding in for a long time, and then yeah. she gets upset. Um, yeah. But wait, okay. But what do you mean? So that's that doesn't sound calm on the part of Grace. So what do you mean I by know. calm with Grace? She's she's calm a lot. She's very very calm. Like I'm using calm and like sweet, like sweet. Yes, yes, like that, like that. Okay, okay. I think that's a good one. Jeremy, you've got nice, calm, and understanding. Understanding. I like understanding. I think that's a good one there. Uh, why do you get kind, gentle, and determ not determined? Okay. So kind and gentle. Gentle, yeah, sweet, gentle. Autumn, you've also got caring, gentle, also just. And Sigourney, you've got caring, kind, and then shy to Arthur. Um, so shy to Arthur. Sigourney, what do you mean by shy to Arthur? Can you explain what you mean by that? I think that's an interesting point. So kind of gentle to Arthur. Do you, can you think of an example of what you mean? So I'm thinking of times when she's been sweet and kind. 
Remember her reaction to Ronnie being out in the rain and the cold? Was it to say, why were you out there in the rain and the cold? No, it was to immediately give him a hug and say, of course you didn't do it, and to get an upstairs to get a change of clothes, right? I think that's the main thing. I think we, we have to have a the image of somebody who would be able to do that. In the potato. <laughs> I like that phrase. So how about this? We want somebody who's sweet, who's gentle, who's kind. So we're finished up with grace, Jeremy. Sweet, gentle, kind. And also um, maybe – Maybe like uh, Caleb was saying, we we have to be her, see her be capable of being frustrated. Maybe she can be frustrated a little bit. She holds things in, but can be frustrated. What do you guys think? Do those sound like good criteria? All right. Tell you what, we're going to put Catherine off to a little bit later. But what I want to do now is go ahead and meet, um, you know what, let's meet our first Grace. Let's do that. Let's start off with Grace. And then we'll go to Arthur. Uh, so, as I said, there are two candidates. And we'll meet the first candidate for Grace and see what she's like. And determine whether or not she's going to be a good fit. Okay, so when we meet her, what I want you to do is I want you – oh, she's, she's coming in just a moment. I want you to write down a description of her in the chat. So uh, like, you're, like you're doing a reading of a painting or something. Just I'll give you a minute to just describe everything that you see going on with this candidate. And then afterwards, we're going to discuss whether or not she might be a good fit or not. All right. Are you clear in what you're doing? Raise your hand if you're clear in what you're going to do when you meet the first – Grace Candidate. Excellent. Here she is. Here's our first Grace Candidate. I think her name is... So, take a minute. Describe in the chat. Type in the chat like a brief reading of this. What are you seeing? Don't push enter yet for those. <laughs> Come on, give her a chance. Give her a chance. In the chat, brief reading of what you're seeing. So, Caleb, you're coming up with three words. <laughs> I see what you're doing. The need, oh, don't push enter yet. I want more, more description. Pretend like you're doing a reading. I want specific things that you're seeing in this person. Specific things. Take another 30 seconds to add more. Like you're doing a reading of a painting. I can see that. Grandma who doesn't understand technology. Look at what she's wearing, look at her expression, look at her, her physical features. So, Autumn, the follow-up question to that is what makes her not look so nice? See if you can spot any details that suggest that. All right. Go ahead and push enter with what you have. And if you want to add more afterwards, go ahead. So, Jeremy, you've got old, stern, determined, not understanding your nice, mean, doesn't understand. Uh, she doesn't understand children. So, Jeremy, those are a lot of assumptions that you're making about her. How about some specific things? What makes her look old? What makes her 
look not nice or understanding. All right, so why you've got she's not active. All right. Yeah, what is she doing instead of not being active? And Jeremy, I see your hand up. I'll get to you in just a moment, Jeremy. Kayla, you've got I see a strict-looking old woman who should not play Grace and is too old to play Grace. Okay, so you think she's too old. She's strict-looking. Okay, the fault would be what makes her look strict. Autumn, you got she has a scowl, almost. Oh, I like that word. Yeah, she does have a scowl. Uh, her posture is very precise. She looks like Anna Delacino would look like. Oh, so you think she's in the wrong audition. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Gordy, you've got she's old, and it's only in black and white. It's true. She's sitting on a chair. She has a footstool. Can't tell what her expression is. Yeah, she does have a little footstool for her. Okay, Jeremy, you had a follow-up point. Go ahead. So, so, I think she looks old because she looks kind of, like, tired and stunned because yeah. she has a very stern gaze. I mean, she doesn't look friendly at all. Imagine if Ronnie runs up to her and, you know, what's her reaction going to be? Ronnie? You don't belong here. You weren't here, supposed to get here till Sunday. Yeah, I don't think she... And this is when you're saying too old. Okay. Uh, what's her name? Give her a name, please. I need her to have a name so we can easily refer her to her. What shall we call her? No, Jeremy. No, we can't call her Monkey Dude Four. Come on. Maybe Anna Dalcina. Miss Stiff. <laughs> uh, Anna Dalcina, Miss Stiff. Two good candidates. Granny, Gran Grandmother Dalcina. How about that? Grandmother Dalcina. Doesn't that sound very formal and without emotion? We'll, we'll do that. How about this is Grandmother Dallasina? What do you guys think? Is that a good good name there? Yeah, Jeremy, go ahead. How about Mrs. Not Very Nature at All? Uh, I think that's a little bit too on the nose. <laughs> this is not very nice at all. Okay. All right, my grandmother Dallasina, a.k.a. Mrs. Not Very Nice at All. I'm not sure she's going to qualify. Uh, let's get another candidate in here and see if our next candidate is any better. Uh, remember, we've got to pick one of these two. So we might not be too happy with our first candidate, but our second candidate might be worse. So <laughs> we've got to be flexible. We've got to be flexible. So here's our second candidate, uh, and she's walking in. Uh, uh, come on in. There she is. All right. Take a minute. One minute. Type in the chat like a brief reading of her. One minute. Type in the chat. Brief reading. Don't push enter yet. Brief reading of what you're seeing. Don't push enter yet. Alright. Go ahead and push enter with what you have. Let's see what you're what you're seeing in her and this candidate. Autumn got she looks too arrogant and rich, and if Ronnie came up to her she would like go run along and play outside or something. She looks like she doesn't care much. Oh. A little too arrogant and rich? Okay. Go along. Run outside. I could kinda of see her saying that. That's true. That's true. Uh, 
Caleb, you're thinking she's perfect for Grace. She looks sweet, nice, and caring. Interesting. Uh, Wyatt, proud, not stiff. Too young. You're thinking too young for Grace. Okay. Jeremy, you've got young, looks nice on the outside, but I don't think she would make a very good Grace because she seems to have a false smile and looks like a princess. That's true. She does have a very fancy dress on. Okay. So, Gorney, you've got arrogant, pretty, very colorful, and young. Uh, okay. Caleb, you seem to be the only one who's really, really thinking that she'd make a good Grace. Now, remember... These are only two candidates. Our budget is very small. We can't get in too many candidates. But of these two, who would you go with? I mean, is age such a big factor here? Would you go with uh, Grandma, Grandmother Dallasina? Why, you're not sure. Sigourney, you definitely go with number two. Jeremy, you go with Grandmother Dallasina? All right, okay. I, I don't why are you going to the first of Dallasina? Okay, can I can I jump in here and, and, and make a case? All right, Jeremy, you go ahead and jump in and make a case. Although Ramos Dallasina looks very stern, she at least she looks sincere. Okay, so you don't think you think sincerity is something that this woman lacks. Alright, that's interesting. Okay, so here's here's how I envision it. I'm imagining who would possibly, of these two, most likely give a hug to Ronnie if she saw him wet outside. I'm thinking number two. And I've got a couple of reasons why. First of all, look at how they're sitting. I mean, Grandmother Dallasina over here, she's not even paying attention to us. Oh, what shall we call her? This young, um, the young queen, young queen, or the, the queen mother? Queen mother, how about that? Shall we call her the queen mother? What do you think? Okay, queen mother. She's not only facing us, but she's kind of leaning in. And, oh, you think she looks kind of arrogant? But she's kind of interested in She's got her head tilted to the side. She's leaning forward as if she's interested in getting to know us, unlike Ms. Grandmother Dallasina, right, who looks like she's not at all interested in what we have to say. There is some sweetness to her. Okay, her eyes aren't sweet. I think her smile looks kind of strange. I wish... Yeah, this is a tough choice. I... I, my vote is for, for Queen Mother. What's your vote? Let's get a vote here. In the chat, Jeremy for Grandmother Dallasina. So one vote here. Autumn, Queen Mother. Sigourney, Queen Mother. I'm going with Queen Mother. Caleb, you're going with Queen Mother. Oh, sorry, Darth Vader is not, did not audition this time around. Okay, and then Wyatt, what are you thinking? Not sure. Okay, kind of in the middle. All right, so we have, I'll, I'll get back to Queen Mother and tell her that uh, she can come in and she'll play the part of Catherine. We might have to, we might have to give her some specific instruction and and, and tell her you got to look a little bit sweeter. You're 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 engaged with us. You're you're interested in us. You look nice, but maybe maybe uh, your eyes are a little bit too arrogant. And maybe we'll change your outfit a little bit. That hair is too much. Maybe we'll change her hair up. And I don't see Grace as having bare shoulders, so maybe we'll 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 get wardrobe in here to change things up a little bit too. Okay. Maybe not the best. All right. Let's go to Arthur. Let's go to Arthur. So for Arthur, we're looking for somebody who's older, who's strict, not not really nice, but who's got self-control and who looks determined. Are you ready for the first candidate for Arthur? 
Okay, here we go. Here's our first candidate for Arthur. Take one minute. Take one minute in the chat to describe him. One minute in the chat. What are you thinking? It's kind of getting dark in here. So my follow-up question, Autumn, would be, what do you see that doesn't make him look strict enough? All right. Go ahead and push enter once you have what you've written. Kaylee, you got two fast? What? Why is that important? Does not look smart or determined or strict. Okay. Uh, but he's reading, Caleb. He's got a book. All right. So I'd, I'd follow up with what makes him not look smart. Okay. And maybe he doesn't look determined. I don't know. I mean, he's got a nice outfit on, and he's writing letters at his desk. He's got to be kind of smart. Jeremy's got fat, too young. Okay, too young. Maybe that's a good point. But sincere and, po and a possibility of caring. Oh, possible candidate. So, Jeremy, you like the fact that he seems sincere, which kind of relates, Caleb, to the point that you were making about his being calm and towards his son. It doesn't let temper get in the way. He cares about his son, and once it doesn't go wild and crazy. Okay. Why you got somewhat strict, able to contain himself? He does look like somebody's able to contain himself. Autumn, you're thinking he looks nice and bubbly, and he wants to give you a hug. Okay, that might not be. <laughs> maybe, maybe he should try out for the part of Grace. Uh, Sigourney, you've got. He's not old. He has fancy clothes on, and he's smiling kindly. I don't know. Is he staring blankly? I get the feel, feel that he's kind of staring at us. Kind of staring at us. All right. So he's kind of facing us. He stopped what he's doing. He's reading. He's got. He's smiling over at us, right? So I'm getting a sense of mixed feelings about this. Maybe too kind. Caleb, okay, you want to go next? Let's give him a name. What shall we call this gentleman? Why you're thinking a good candidate? What shall we call him? Give him a name. Bob? Yeah. Oh, can can we call him Robert the Good? I don't know why. Bob no, not Bob the Builder. Robert the Good. How about that? How about Robert the Good? Mr. Nice. You like those very precise descriptions. Uh, Robert the Good. Yeah, I think you're going off into all kinds of different territory there. Okay, all right. I think we need a new candidate. At least he's a possibility, but we'll take a look and see what uh, the other candidate is like. All right. Here he comes. <clears throat> Here he comes. He's making his way through the hallway. And there he is. Take a minute. Take a minute. Take a minute. No, what are you talking about? I think he. I think we can work with this man. Take a minute. Right? No, no. Write down. Write down in the uh, a reading. A reading in the chat. Take a minute. Describe him. Details. Yeah, Sigourney, I remember that. I remember that, Sigourney. Yeah, when you, we, you remember that portrait? Yeah, you did that during an art camp, yeah. Take a minute. So 
So is all of my follow-up question is what makes him look mean? <laughs> what makes him look like he'd kill Ronnie? No, not yet. No, these are two, these are the only two candidates. I told you our budget is very limited, Caleb. This is all I can get on short notice. Twenty more seconds. Look at his details. Look at him. What are you thinking? And push enter with whatever you have. Okay, so Autumn, you got to scowl. His, his hair again looks mean. <laughs> his hair looks mean. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I mean, looking at the hair, contrasting the hair of these two gentlemen, uh, his hair over here looks like it's nicely placed. His is <laughs> kind of all over the place like it's Furious. Okay. Why did that old, not able to contain himself? He's given someone the evil eye. And Autumn, you like you like that uh, description. He's kind of intimidating, right? All right. He's old. That's what we wanted, right? He's old. Would you say he's strict? He is kind of. He is strict, right? Intimidating. Isn't Arthur intimidating? I mean, do you remember when John Waterstone had his interview with Arthur, and he goes in and. It's basically an interrogation, and Catherine asks him afterwards, so uh, how did it go? And Arthur and, – and John – I'm sorry, John Watherstone says, I was scared to death. Now, would John Watherstone say he was scared to death about this guy? Probably not. But this guy, yeah. All right. So, Jeremy, you've got old, stern, thin, but there's a possibility of him not caring at all. And also there's a possibility of him not being very determined. Oh, I don't know about him not being very determined. Look at his hands. Look at this guy's hands. Look at how they're gripping his knees. This guy's hands are kind of dangling down. And look at his elbows. If you sit like he is with his elbows jutting out, I don't know. There's strength there, right? We, strength was one of the qualities that we're looking for. Okay. Oh, Caleb, I don't – well, you're not happy, but I want to hear why you're not happy. All right, Autumn, you're saying at first, but he actually cares and loves Ronnie? Okay, he does. He does. Go ahead, Caleb. Talk to me. Okay. Okay, the second candidate looks like an older version of the first, which is driving me insane. He does. He does have some of his I, I, I just don't like any – I don't like both of them. Okay, the, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it, the okay. first one is too young and is kind of fat, and the second one is too old and does not look very fatherly at all. He looks, it, it looks like a Arthur who has already fought through the case, and, or an even older Arthur, like an 80 year old Arthur. I don't like he's both of those. Okay, he, I'd say he's probably more like 60, 65. Yeah, but but still. He does look haggard. Yeah. And he looks like he's kind of gotten fierce. And he's I Yeah, he looks like I would not want to get him upset. But he you know what makes convinces me that this might be the right one? What, Ronnie is, is absolutely frightened of his dad. Right? At the beginning that's got to be what's convincing. That Ronnie Runs outside and stands in the rain instead of facing his dad. He wants to tear up that letter from Osborne rather than face his dad. In fact, everybody is afraid of what will happen when his dad finds out that Ronnie has been expelled. What is, what's Dickie's quote? You remember what Dickie said? I, I don't want to be – what is it? Uh, like – oh, I forgot the quote. Something – yeah, Jeremy, what's the quote? I don't. I don't want to be a thousand miles of dad explosion. Yeah. And why was that what you're gonna to say too? Yeah. I don't want to be within a thousand miles of that explosion. 
which one of these look like could give the impression of exploding? I'm thinking him, right? That's He's going to get my vote. All right, but I need a name for him. I need a name. What shall we call him? Mr. Stern? <laughs> Mr. Grumps? Mr. Grump? Grumpy Bear? Grumpy the Bear, okay. Uh, Grumpy sounds too cute and cuddly. Sir... How about Mr. Robert Stern? No, Mr. Mr. I'll go with Mr. Stern. Oh, no, no, no. I remember when I've done this before, there's a good name, uh, which is kind of funny, but I think also captures how imposing he is and intimidating. Mr. Blockhead. What do you think of Mr. Blockhead? John Shana. I don't know. I don't know John Shana or John Shana enough. If I knew him, John Cena, Mr. Block. We'll go with Mr. Blockhead. In your minds, you can call him John Cena. If I knew, if I had an image of him, or I knew John Cena. So Otto, you think it's totally John Cena? All right. Okay, let's vote here. Uh, Robert the Good or Mr. Blockhead? Who are you voting for? So we got one vote, Robert. One abstent. One abstain. Abstent. Abstention. Abstention. Oh, I forgot the word. Abstention. One abstention from Caleb. Abstention. Jeremy, Mr. Blockhead, Sigourney, Mr. Blockhead. Anybody else? Uh, see Wyatt. What are you thinking? Now we gotta have a part. We can't have the play without Arthur. We could have the play without Ronnie. I mean, we could, well, maybe not so much. I think I'm gonna go with Mr. Blockhead. That's my vote. So, two not shores. Alright. So we're kind of divided on this. Kind of divided. Alright, one more. <laughs> he volunteers tribute. Caleb, you'll be you'll be Ronnie. No, you can't be Arthur. Can't grow a beard yet. All right, one more one more character. Catherine. Oh, let's go back very quickly. Give me three words to describe Catherine. Three words to describe Catherine. Yeah, it is a little bit harder. Is she going to be like Grace? No, she's going to be different than Grace, right? All right, go ahead and push into her with what you have. So, why you got gentle, kind, determined, just? I think determined is a good one. So, Courtney's got kind, progressive. Progressive, that's interesting. Sigourney progressive means that she's kind of not with the fashions of the time, but going beyond it. Interesting. Autumn, you've got ambitious. Mm -hmm. I can see that, uh, especially towards the end. So, Jeremy, you've got sweet, understanding. I definitely say understanding. I don't know if she's sweet like Grace, though, right? Determined. Must hate Sir Robert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Haley got extremely determined, ambitious, and understanding. And, yeah, I, I agree with those. Uh, Autumn, you got, if you ever has seen the movie Joy, she's like Joy in that movie. Oh, Joy, with, um, Jennifer Lawrence. I haven't seen it, but, uh, I've heard good things about it. So let's say, determined. 
Uh, and I'm going to use a word that's like progressive. I'm going to use the word unconventional. You guys, have you guys know that word, unconventional? So it doesn't follow the trends that everybody does. So she's kind of in between. Conventional is doing what everybody else does. Unconventional is doing what's different. Um, maybe gentle, but I, I get the sense also that she she can. Why I, I get the sense also that she can be fiery and passionate too. Yeah, wait. Go ahead. Remember who who Ronnie went to um, first? Yeah. Cat. Kate. Kate. That's true. So maybe there's something that he he has a close relationship with her, um, and she, he knows that she will be understanding. Okay. All right. That's a good argument there, Wyatt. Uh, Jeremy, what are you thinking? There's eight minutes left. So are you gonna? Continue this next writing workshop or no? We're, uh, you guys want to finish this up? I think we can finish this up very quickly. I think we can take a look at, we're right at time actually. We're right at time. Yeah, I think we'll just take a, like three more minutes or so. Okay. We'll just take a few more minutes and that'll be it. Alright, so. Determined and conventional understanding. You know what? I want to put down passionate, too. Remember how she gets really angry at Sir Robert? But she doesn't get angry to Sir Robert in his face. She gets angry at him um, for when she speaks to Arthur. I mean, she, she's she got to look like somebody who will fight for lost causes. I think that's the main thing that we're looking for. And... When you were, Autumn, when you were thinking about Jennifer Lawrence, I can see Jennifer Lawrence in that role. Somebody who will fight for the underdog. Okay. You ready for the first candidate? All right. Let's see if I did a better job recruiting. Here we go. All right, what are you thinking? No, I, I don't want just reactions. I want details that you're seeing here. Take a few moments, take 30 seconds or so, a minute, to write down. Oh, okay. No, 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 don't forget your – because remember, you got to – you will have to pick between two. So describe what you're seeing here first. What are you seeing? Uh, no, 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 no. You can't form a conclusion yet. You might have – that's a great – I like your impressions, your first impressions. But go back and take a look. What are you seeing? Okay, she looks like a Roman. I, that's fine, right? It's not a very fancy frilly dress, right? I, I can't imagine Kate in a very fancy frilly dress like the Grace with the Princess, the, the Queen Mother. All right, Jeremy, you've got young, apparently kind, but does not look like she would hate Sir Robert or fight for lost causes. Okay. Hale's got too young, too rich looking, and Roman like, and too pompous. Sigourney's got pert, arrogant, and too young. Okay, interesting. <laughs> oh. Well, can I throw in a couple of qualities that I, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing? I'm seeing that she looks kind of proud. She looks like she's determined. She's got a nice dress on, but it's not frilly. She looks like she's also got her shoulders up and has and is got this sense of self-worth and and, and, and this has some spirit about her. Really? She doesn't look like she would have a strong opinion on anything? Hmm. All right. Would not fight for lost causes. Okay. I've seen a lot of conclusions, but not much detail about what you're seeing there. All right. Let me get another candidate. We'll see what you think. Okay. Actually, Jeremy, you're thinking 91% candidate? 
All right. You ready for the next candidate? Here's the next candidate. All right. What are you seeing here? She does look kind of sad. Her eyes are staring up. Almost look like they, they might be tear stained a little bit. Take 30 seconds. Describe what you're seeing. Oh, looks like she has – she's like given up on everyone. So she's the opposite of fighting for lost causes. She, she gives up on lost causes. So, Caleb, one good reason to take your time to describe the, how horrible of a candidate she is is describing how horrible of a candidate she is will give you a clearer idea of what would make a good candidate. Autumn, she looks like she's, she could be thinking, uh. So, Gordon, you got too pretty, too young, sad, too fancy. You know what? I think so, too. I think she's too fancy. I don't see Kate going around with all those flowers in her hair like that. I, if I had to pick a, an outfit that Kate would wear, she would probably wear that Greco-Roman outfit that's a little bit plainer rather than this floral headdress. So she's not determined, flowers in her hair, and too young. Yeah, you can see that. All right. Jeremy, you've got sad, young, does not look like she would fight for anything. Not proud. Looks like a darker version of Catherine who gave up fighting for lost causes and is now married to John. <laughs> All right, that's that's funny, Jeremy. Okay. All right, out of these two, let's vote. Let's vote. Oh, we need names. Let's give them names. I'm going to call her Athena. What do you think? Does that sound like a good name? The one on the left, and the one on the right, I'm going to call her um, Lost Flower Girl. What do you think? Lost Flower Girl. All right. So we got... Jeremy, you're voting for Athena. Oh, and why do you throw Mrs. Nice to indicate that she's married? <laughs> uh, all right, so Sigourney, you're going for Athena. Autumn, you're going for Athena. Wyatt, not sure. And Caleb, neither. Caleb, you are a picky director. Uh, and I'm going for Athena as well. <laughs> okay. I, I think we've got our candidates. Um, so, in the part of Catherine, by, by our uh, majority decision, we picked out Athena. In the part of Arthur, we picked out my a slight majority, Mr. Blockhead, and in the part of uh, Grace, we picked out the Queen Mother. All right, thank you very much for helping me pick out these candidates in this audition for the parts. We do not have any writing workshop next week. No writing workshop next week. We have Tuesday off. Monday and Tuesday of next week, we have off. We see each other again in two weeks for the writing workshop. But literature, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the poem, if, in our continuation of that. Any final thoughts or questions? Yeah, Caleb, go ahead. Um, any homework? No homework.
Okay. Oh and also, why did you choose so horrible candidates? Ah! Well, Kayla, if, if you come up with better candidates, I'm open. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, my, you know, my budget is very limited. Uh, the producer, I hasn't gotten much backing for the film, so we need to go out and get some more money. Yeah. In oh, we certainly do. <laughs> Jeremy, what, is, what is final thought, Jeremy? Oh, well, let me see. Oh, yeah. Why did you pick such horrible candidates? I just answered that question. <laughs> oh, they were good candidates. Okay, some of them were good. Yeah, Wyatt, go ahead. Don't ask me the same question. Are you going to ask me the same question, Wyatt? No. No, but I just wanted to comment. And near the end, I started laughing. Your candidates were just so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> They're not horrible. Athena's a great Catherine, right? She'd be a great Catherine. I think so. I, I think Athena would make a wonderful Catholic. <laughs> okay, everybody. I had fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow for elementary class. Bye-bye.